Now the next section of settings that I want to talk to you guys about is Weaver 2 options for this particular post. This whole box of settings right here is uh, only there because of the theme that I am using on this particular site. So if you happen to be using a different theme other than Weaver 2, then you might not have these options available to you. And this is actually another one of the reasons why I like to use this particular theme because it gives me a certain level of control over the standard way WordPress typically puts uh, pages together on a site. So there are all these different options available to me and these options actually change whether I am creating a post or a page and Weaver gives me many many more options when I'm creating a page compared with a post. There's actually like two or three times more settings than just the ones that you can see right here for pages. So that's yet again another particular reason why I prefer to use the page system because Weaver gives me more uh, customization options for pages. But for the options that are available here for these posts, some of these I will still commonly use on some of the sites that I actually do use this post system on. Um, I have a lot of other sites besides just Amazon sites. So I actually do have some sites that still use this particular post and category system. Um, one thing in particular, sometimes I might not want to show the actual title of a post at the top of the page. I can hide that by simply clicking on this checkbox. Um, all the different aspects that go along with a post, like where it's showing um, the uh, author's avatar with it and featured images, you can disable all that type of stuff through here. And also one other particular setting, this uh, allow raw HTML and scripts disables auto paragraph, texturize, and other processing. I actually find myself using this setting. It's available on the page um, editor as well. And what this actually does is it disables the um, standard WordPress system where if I simply hit enter and I proceed with creating a second line of content where they're separated by a line, I'm not providing the HTML coding to actually separate these uh, two lines of text on my live website. If you go and look at the actual coding of it here, it you can see they're separated by a blank line. Well, when WordPress actually processes this information on the live web page, it's actually going to add auto paragraph HTML to this coding. And what that would actually look like is these little P tags. So you would have an opening and a closing P tag on either side of both of these two particular lines. And that ensures that the content is getting displayed on separate lines. Well, there are some examples where you might find yourself wanting to actually disable this auto paragraph system, these uh, paragraph tags right here. If you have some kind of complicated HTML coding or CSS coding, for example, that you have copied from another site and you're wanting to paste it in to your WordPress page, you would do that through this text tab right here. But if you paste some complicated coding in there, like CSS coding, for example, this auto-paragraphing will actually mess up 
that coding for you. So if you ever go to paste some type of code into a WordPress page and it doesn't show up correctly on the live page, um, try disabling or enabling this particular feature right here and update your page and see if that helps to correct the problem because uh, I know personally I've ran into some major headaches before I discovered this particular um, feature right here. So it may not be something that you'll use immediately, but eventually if you continue to build websites with WordPress, you will probably run into a circumstance where this particular feature really helps to save you. Um, in addition to that, one other thing that I wanted to mention about using this particular feature right here. If you have any um, plugins that you're using on your site and they're using short codes, you can see an example short code right here. They have these bracket symbols surrounding them. A lot of different plugins, including a lot of my own Amazon advertising plugins, take advantage of this uh, WordPress shortcode system where uh, with my plugins, for example, wherever this shortcode is placed at within the content of your page, when you're viewing that page on the live website, the shortcode is replaced with the actual advertisement that the plugin is generating. So um, if you are using short codes in the content of a particular page, make sure you don't use this particular setting because uh, part of this other processing right here is kind of a vague language that they use, but this other processing one of the things is actually short code processing that's taking place there. So if you see these short codes showing up on the live website and you've uh, used this particular feature, then that's actually why that happens. So you want to make sure you're not mixing the short codes in with pages where you might have some kind of special uh, HTML and CSS coding where you would actually want that auto paragraph feature disabled. So uh, just to ensure you guys don't run into some problems with that, I wanted to be sure to actually point that out to you. 